uh, my Lynn Pro. I've been on HRT pellets for years and my doctor can't seem to regulate my hormones. If I take too much progesterone or even every day, I start to bleed like a menstrual cycle. I'm 57 and frustrated with the process. I've always maintained a healthy eating and fitness lifestyle, but now I can't get rid of the belly fat no matter what I do or try. Nothing seems to work. My blood work comes back normal, but I still have all of the menopausal symptoms except for hot flashes. Thankfully, I've never had any of those. Any ideas what could be going on? Note, I was checked out by an OBG uh, for the bleeding issue and had a biopsy and my results came back normal. Your advice would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. You know, um, thank you for this uh, question. Um, dude, thanks. I gotta work. So this is how I would approach this. You know, um, pellets are unique because you get the pellets inserted and you have a mini, mini surge right after it. You don't wanna do labs within the first two weeks of having pellets inserted wait a little bit. You want to do labs maybe a month after insertion and get an idea of where your levels are. My guess on you would be that you have too much estrogen. It's a little bit. And I've seen this because I, I know the pellets they make out there. I've seen pellets of estrogen at 50 milligram pellets. It's too much. You know, um, our goal with you is to keep your estrogen, in my opinion, around 80, 82. Studies show that women whose estradiol is 82. If you're only doing estradiol with no testosterone, estradiol at 82 helps maintain bone density. I'll put the citation in here. So I want your estradiol around 82. If it's above that, that has a chance of increasing the line of the uterus. You don't need to keep it at 150, 200. You don't need to be high. So the first thing I think of when I when I saw your post is that you, you're probably getting a lot of a lot of estrogen relative to what you need, not too much, but because your biopsy was said you had you had you know endometrial hyperplasia, which means too much lining is too thick. So I would I would want to look at that estrogen dose and modulate it. Uh, to give you a rough idea of what we do pellet wise in my practice, I use six milligram pellets, ten milligram pellets, and twelve milligram pellets. Those are the three strengths of pellets we use in the office. I've never, ever, 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 ever in my life needed to do a 25 milligram pellet, not even once, not once. So I would, I would want you to consider that being a possibility. There's too much estrogen at play.